Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the A to Z challenge. We're playing Kiana. Uh, we're against a 130 game already Aurora. Jeez, that, again, she's not been out very long. Damn. One trick Riven not playing it. So last game we had a Riven who didn't play Riven cost the game. And now this game we've got a one trick Riven who is not playing Riven. Ah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? What the hell? Ash? Your intarnation? It's a weird invade. Been seeing some weird invades today, I will say. Seen some weird invades. And I'm still playing Royal Match just on my second uh, thingy. Second screen. This matchup. She got half health in one little thing at level one. Nice. <laughs> there I get. I was gonna say by the way, there are some players out there that like this player may not care about Aurora. There are, there are players that exist that basically when a new champion comes out, they just one-trick it because they know it's going to be OP. When was the last time a champ came out in League that wasn't OP? Question of the day. Bruh. I, how, what can I do against that? Vex? Yeah. Isn't like Vex like nearly two years old? Away? Away was borderline. He was just harder to play than most champs. Like Aurora is not very hard to play. Away is hard to play. I think that's more of the difference. Obviously, I do know standardly a lot of Kiana players do say basically until you get level three, don't even try to do anything. Well, I'm nearly dead. And yeah, I, I think Away was completely fine. Like legit, I think it was completely, completely, completely fine. I think it was just more he was a riot for the last couple of years has just been releasing champs that anybody can play really easy when Hawaii's like I'm a mage that mages aren't very good anyway and he's also got 10 abilities that are all skill shots I think that just freaked out the average player and the average player weren't was just terrible with him I think that was more the thing with Hawaii. I think the actual champion was fine Nice. Again, no ignite, um, no flash from Camille, so very easy gank. What am I supposed to do about place tanking her Q? I can't avoid it. I might have to open my door. My door closed in the wind, and I can hear Maya behind the door going. Eh. <laughs> literally, she's literally just behind the door and she just charges into the room hello puppy that was funny oh don't nudge my hand my my i'm playing kiana and as it is oh hello that was weird all the doors in the house are closed i might need to close some windows Can we get a gank? Come on, Mr. Amumu. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, I mucked up. Why was Belveth there? Oh, I mucked that up as it is. I panicked when I saw Belveth, but that was lame. <coughs> that was my opportunity. I would have taken a trade. Are she staying? 
See, this is the thing. I had to play Kiana this game, and I did say at the end of last game, we may get screwed because I have to play the champ because the alphabet challenge. I'm coming. How is she? Oh, her hop, of course. A new champion that's a mage has to have mobility because otherwise it wouldn't be a new champion. Aim. Fuzzy Ganon. Yeah. That's the one thing I would say is the negative of this alphabet challenge is I do have to willingly sometimes just take a bad matchup. Or like, would I, if, you know, they pick a Royal, would I, would I have picked Kiana? No. Even if, let's say I was a Kiana player, I don't think I would have played Kiana. The idea of face tanking a Q that does way too much damage. And I can't really avoid that damage. Don't seem great. That seems quite a bad idea. But the thing with Kiana, even if you don't have a good early, I've seen many Kianas don't do good early, and then they do an ultimate in late game, and voila. If, oh, I was going to say, if Garen and Amumu come over, maybe we could do something there. But, nope. The Pike is there? Oh my god. We've got zero control this game. Just like, dude, there's three people, four including Camille. There's nothing we can do. Just outnumbered. Hopefully they punish the Ash for being 2v1, but probably can't really. I'm on my way. She had cleanse. Oh. That looked funny. Nice. Oh, you know what we can do. Fran's dead. Oh, he's not dead. He's alive. Should probably go over here. Wait, how is the movement so slow? Just ult, just ult, just press your R. Just press your R. Is this a Mumu serious? You can't make that up. He just needed to press R early. And I would have managed to get on the Belveth, but he just held his R for no reason. Press R. He's he's legit legit saving it for next game. It's crazy. I wish there was someone else as perfect as me. Oi, oi, oi. Ole. Wait, that hit? The hell? That did not look like it was supposed to hit. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. Strong. Well, she's 0 4, so she's sucking. But yeah, strong, 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 strong. 0 0 7. Un petit problema. I think our grouping later is quite scary, though. Zeri, Brand, and Mumu, Kiana. That's cool. Kiana's personality bugs you. I mean, she's like, her personality is all about being elitist, isn't it? But this enemy team is just non-stop invading. Adolva. There. 
Oh. Yeah, I didn't have any vision, so I just didn't know where to go. Of course. This is not going well for me. Trying to get a kill or two just to get, like, the ball rolling, but I just can't. Aurora just hops away. We'll try and be useful. Garen's doing good. Focus on that positive, I guess. Pike will be over here, by the way. This Pike has been roaming 24-7. We need Garen. We need Garen. We need Garen. We need Garen. Please be dead. I don't think she is. Yep, my ignite ran out. Oh. Hey, we did something. We're on the board. So lame. <laughs> hey puppy dog, it's okay. I think Maya's a bit fretted because of the wind. Oh, she doesn't have ult. Good girl, Mish Mize. It's okay. This game we're just it's basically just being outnumbered 24-7, so I don't really know what I can do. As an assassin, that's always going to be your weakness, is getting outnumbered. Elveth is always around mid. He might be dead to the dot. I don't know, because there's regen. Elveth will come mid lane in a second for sure. She'll regen to full health. There you go. So why is Bran just mid? Like, I'm sharing XP now, which is not ideal. Yeah, the question of the day could be, like, genuinely, like, I'm, I'll upload, you know, not every game I'm going to play, I'm going to do well. Obviously, I would not have taken Kiana into this matchup willingly, unless I was doing this challenge. If I did a, a future alphabet challenge, what do you guys think about, like, do I just, do you just have to suck it up and have games like this that aren't going to go well due to matchup and stuff? Or should I do something different about it? Should I play... Do I not have to do it in absolute alphabetical order? So I go to the next champion and basically it's ticking off every single letter instead of doing it in actual alphabetical order. Would that be better? Should be dead. Oh, Why is Zeri not running away? Oh, this Amumu is an absolute beast. Woo! That was good. Ah, Amumu legit just turned that fight by himself somehow. Z Day format. Yeah, but that doesn't really fix it, though. Because I can just still be in a situation that I've got to play a champion into a a not great matchup 
Like, I was thinking maybe the next time we do this, again, I'm not going to do an alphabet challenge there for a little while because this is our second go around and stuff. We we did a second go around because some champions have got two champs. But, like, um, I think next time, if we do this in a, a couple months or something, maybe instead of doing it in actual alphabetical order, is I, like, all right, I've got 26 letters. I have to tick off 26. I just have to tick the letters off. So it gives me options per game, but it doesn't like force me. Okay, you have to play a champ beginning with Q this game. If there's a champ beginning with. If I've not done D yet, well, then I could have played a champ beginning with D this game instead. Maybe that would be better. Just kind of thinking of like how could it be a bit better in that way. Him with an evolt. Oh. I mean, that's worth for us. Ash really wanted to kill me there. <laughs> the bad matchups kind of feel the point of it. Yeah, maybe. It's just, it's harder to have fun when you're not having a good time. And this just kind of feels like I was... This just feels like a bad matchup. It's like, I have to face check an Aurora that just presses Q, auto Q's back, and I'm like half health at level one. It's like, hmm. <laughs> like, well... Hmm. They overstayed. Wait, they killed tier two, though. Kind of mad. We're surrendering dragon here. Oh, on my way. Don't have a ward. We're giving it up. Yep. Oh, that should be a dead. Dude, you knew you weren't in range there. Oh, that's painful. Okay, has the movement just given up? Bro, what is going on? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on, bro. It kind of feels like everyone's just giving up. Uh, uh, well. We have just a really windy day. I think we've got a bit of rain, but like nothing major. A lot of wind. Kind of like me. Aha. He's 1v4. See, the Moomoo refuses to go in when we, we're together, and then he goes in 1v4. What? Like... Why, why refuse to go in when we're around and then go in 1v4? I don't know. I don't know. My enemies try their best. That is what you start. Ooh, it's an infernal map. Assassin Amumu. I mean, it, you saw he killed one of them in a 1v4. If he just if he's with us and does that. Our combo's very scary. Like legit. Kiana and Mumu, Bran, Zeri. That's scary, but if he doesn't do us do it with us, then it isn't. Like overstay and get caught. It's 
We're just not working together, in essence. They're gonna go Baron. They don't have the Ash there. Where's Kiana's doing my head in? Not Kiana, Elva. Every Ash arrow is for me. Nice. Hey, maybe that Ash arrow would have been handy for you down there, Mrs. Ash. Just say it. Just say it. <sighs> okay. But Camille's not had a very good game, so she'll. That was her first kill. She was 0 and 8. But I'm really weak as well. I've just not died nine times like her. If I'm having a bad game, I'll try to limit my deaths. If I had my ultimate there, I wouldn't have died. But maybe she knew I didn't have ult. And smacking a pipe outside, and it's a really weird noise. Boom. We have to fight for this dragon, it feels like. The thing is, I feel we can actually fight for it. If we get you heard it, yeah, I'm not. It feels like we can fight for it. If we go five man into it, I think there's a good chance we could win the fight. What the hell up? Thing I've got to be careful for here is the ash of every arrow has seemingly been for me. If Belveth is in the area, there could also be an ash arrow on my way. Wait, do I go hubris this game? Am I actively going to snowball at all? I don't know. This Camille's like raging out. I think we just hard force a fight here. Yeah, just do it. Um, yeah, the Camille is just rage split pushing. It's literally like, well, it's it's hilariously, it's like the last game, but different, but the same result. It's just top lane split pushing by default and that's all they want to do and hilariously that's like the most effective gameplay in League of Legends nowadays this is Camille who's one and nine gets to be the most effective player on the map I still can't believe they haven't really fixed that uh, yeah I got, like, blown up in that fight, unfortunately. I am weirdly getting quite focused. For how weak I am, they are still focusing me quite heavily. But it might be, again, which you, I kind of respect. I've, again, seen... I've seen Kiana's do terribly and then get one amazing ult off in a mid to late game and they just completely take over and they win the fight for their team. I like playing Cat Arena in that way, you know. We'll I mean, probably be bot lane now. I'm gonna try and run away from PvP. Yeah, turrets melt a bit too quick, I think. Oh, I didn't hit. Oh, oh. oh. So many abilities for me, and I'm so weak. This is so weird. I am not strong this game.
Oh no, Garen's getting caught. What's the difference? The Camille just runs away from PvP because she's actively not trying to PvP. The Garen though stays around, doesn't run away. Mo the modern top laner, ladies and gentlemen. You can very much thank the Bowser FFS for this. You just play a scaling champ, feed like mad, and guess what? You scale. So it doesn't matter you had an absolutely terrible early game. Oh. oh well. I don't think it's it's weak I don't think it's weaker turrets, I think items are still too strong, so the statistics of people auto attacking towers. They're just doing too much damage to them. And I think it's also a mentality. A lot of players' mentality in League nowadays, especially top laners, is I just want to split push 24-7. That's what they want to do. Oh, God. My mental is just boomed this game. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. I've been so useless this entire game. It happens. I've just not really been. I don't just know, don't know what I could have done this game. It was really hard to lane against an Aurora, and then I had quite a lot of focus on me from the early game of Velvet and Pike. So I just don't know. Genuinely not sure what I could really do with also not being a Kiana player and I will openly say that obviously not really sure what I could have done maybe roam more but again roaming isn't really my thing Kiana is a bit of like a one trick champ yeah obviously I'm doing a challenge hence why I'm playing her but yeah, I just don't know what more I could have done. Like we did, we did nothing. I got owned in the lane phase. I couldn't one v one a Kiana, and then I also just kept up getting outnumbered in basically every fight. So I don't know. This is one of those games. I'm not really sure what I could have done different. I I think if I had to say one thing, hilariously, it probably is roam more. Because if you can't lay in, in your lane, roam. But that just isn't my playstyle. I don't like roaming. So that's why I probably just didn't do it very well. But oh well, that was rough. But that was uh, Q. So we're next up is R. And we've got a donated pick for Ramos. Uh, but anyway, that was rough. But uh, if you enjoyed it still, you know, we're doing the challenge. Throw a like on it. Throw a comment. Throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore Regime.